Welcome to OpenMentor.net. In this session, we are going to see more COBOL related items. If you see here, I have defined WS A, B, C, D as numeric variables and X as alphanumeric picture class X. Now, if I want to initialize them, one way is say compute WSA equal to zero, but you can use the keyword move. Move means it will set the value of the variable. Now I say move zeros to WSA or you can say move zero to WSB. You can use the plural or a singular or you can use the number also. Now I can say move spaces or space to WSX. You need to be careful while moving zeros and uh, uh, spaces. In COBOL, there were multiple versions. There are different versions even now. COBOL 74 is one set of syntax. 85 is an improved syntax. 95 or 2000 is further improved syntax. So in COBOL 74, you have to explicitly use zeros or spaces depending upon numeric or uh, string variables. In COBOL 85, you can use initialize the word initialize. When you do that, automatically depending upon the variable type it will move either spaces or zeros. Now what I'm doing is I'm expect accepting WSA from US user, WSB from the user. I am moving the value of WSA to WSC and I am printing that. So to do that uh, all you need to do is just say move. Move a constant or a variable to another variable. Very simple. So let us compile this And then we need to ensure that there is no syntax errors. So I say type err.lst. Uh, there are no errors or warnings. So let us execute this one now. It will ask two variables. The first variable is, let me enter a is equal to 5. Okay. Then b is equal to 6. Now it is moving a to c and it is printing the value of c as 5. So this is this is the effect of move variable. So you can use move to initialize or move one variable to another. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a basic if then else condition. Now instead of this what I'm going to do is I'm going to compare whether A is greater than or B or not. To do that use the keyword if WSA, I can use the symbol greater than or less than or equal to, but instead of that, you can explicitly spell it out. If WSA is greater than WSB, I'm just writing like English. Now I say uh, display the WSA is greater, else I'm printing display WSA is not greater. Display WSA is not greater. Once the statement finishes, you put a full stop. Do not put a dot in between these lines. In COBOL 85, you can have something like end if to denote the if statement ends. In COBOL 74, this end if is not seen, whereas in the later versions, current COBOL versions, you have this end if so that you know this is a complete block statement starting with an if ending with end if so it is very clear and readable so what I'm doing is a simple comparison explicitly spelt out in clear English now let us save this compile this make sure that we don't have any syntax errors no errors let us execute this so I'm going to give A as 5, B as 6. So WS is 5 is not greater than 6. So you could see the else portion works. Let us execute once again. Now I'm, I'm going to say A is equal to 6, B equal to 4. Now WS is greater. So you can simply do that. Suppose I want to just check rather than this condition. I just want to just check. Uh, let me comment this out. I want to write if WSA equal to zeros. Now I can simply say if WSA 
is equal to zeros. I can use the word equal to or I can use the symbol equal to. Pretty much you use greater than or less than as equal to. You can also see not equal to if WSA is not equal to zero. Now I can say WSA is zero. Now I say it is not zero. So let me compile this once again. Let us see whether there are any compilation issues. No compilation issues. Let us execute. Now I am going to enter WSA equal to zero. Now you say WSA is zero. So he is able to figure that out. This is very simple because COBOL is English like. So if you want to do comparison, you can use greater than, less than, equal to, not greater than, not less than, not equal to. So it is as simple as that. Either you can use the symbol or you can use the English word. So in this session, we have learned how to initialize variables using move. The zero, zero spaces, these are all called figurative constants. Figurative constants meaning they are English equivalent of the constants. And then we have used the simple if condition. With, you can have if conditions within if conditions like nested if conditions. So, but this is a basic construct of it. You can use either the symbols like greater than, less than, but you can also explicitly spell them out in English. This is as simple as that. With this, we end this session. Thank you.